Are you thinking about moving to the DC metro area? Have you heard about a little town called Clarksburg, Maryland? I'm going to show you around this community that's located just 18 miles north of Washington, DC and show you why this new urban area is so special. Hi, this is Brad and this is Living in Washington, D.C. If you're looking to make a move to the Washington, D.C. metro area and want to know about the do's and don'ts, the pros and cons, the working and playing of living in Washington, D.C., subscribe, give us a like, and click the notifications button so you always stay up to date on all the news that matters to you in the Washington, D.C. area. Anthony and I get calls from people just like you every day looking to make a move to the Washington, D.C. area, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in a week, in a month, or even in a year, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you transition from where you're at right now to where you want to be, Washington, D.C. But before we get to the houses, let me tell you a little bit about Clarksburg because this place has developed so quickly that even people who live in Washington, D.C. don't actually know what happened here. So right back here, these houses, even 18 months ago, were 400,000. Since then, they've shot up to over 600,000. So the place has gone up in value dramatically. And the reason for this has been infrastructure, schools, and convenience. So Clarksburg has one of the rapidly are the most rapidly rising school systems in the DC metro area. They score higher and higher every single year. You're near the outlets, the major luxury outlets, which is kind of like the center of shopping for Northern Montgomery County and the Frederick area. Uh, and again, just like in a, in a German town or some of these other undervalued areas, you're really convenient to everything. It's not too far to the metro. It's about a 10 mile drive to the metro from here and it's not too far to the Mark train system, so you can always get where you want to go. And, you know, if, if when you're coming here, I mean, just remember, like, Armani, Coach, all the high-end luxury jewelers, they're all kind of investing in this area because it's just developing so quickly. I, I in 10 years, I've seen this go from farmland to almost like its own little city. So let's go, and now let's actually go and check out the properties and see what you can get at the 400, 800 and $1 million price points here in Clarksburg, Maryland. So we're coming up to our first price point, which at $420,000 really is entry level here in Clarksburg, but you're still getting a lot for your money when you come here. So here we, here we are. This is a, a four level brick facade that is going to be offered at $420,000. So these are all new built. So they're all very nice on the inside. They all have a modern open concept. They all have high energy efficiency and they're part of these kind of tailor-made communities where everything's nice and manicured and just very quiet here. So this is a good place. If you're looking to get your start in Montgomery County, you need a little bit more of a modern townhouse than you can get from some of the areas of Montgomery County that were developed before. But um, you still want to have some access to shopping, to great school systems, uh, and to a, actually a good job market here. Um, I didn't realize this before I came here right now. They actually have an entire robotics laboratory, literally a quarter mile that way. They do autonomous vehicles. Very cool. All right, so let's go on to our second price point, which is going to give you a little bit more square footage, but it's going to be a little bit more money. So check it out. Now we're coming up on our second price point, which just under $800,000 at 775 represents kind of the intro entry level to a modern single family house build in the Clarksburg area. So here we are at a little bit over 3000 square feet with three levels and a two car garage. This is a very pretty house in a very pretty community. This was built back in 2016, so it's very new. The roof is new. Everything is following modern energy efficiencies, and it's a house that I think anyone could live in for a long time. Uh, would I consider coming here over the townhouse that we just saw at 420? Well, if my budget allowed me to do so, you're certainly getting quite a bit. 
you're getting a much more open concept than you could ever get from a townhouse. Uh, and you're getting something that's going to really hold its value and hopefully appreciate. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that these were $600,000, and my goodness, they went up almost 30%. And I don't see any reason why future buyers wouldn't push these prices up even a little bit more. So this is a place I would definitely consider. Plus, when you come into communities like this, they're quiet. Like, this is how they build communities now. They've sort of gotten away from the completely shove every single thing uh, together on the streets. So the streets are a lot wider. And everyone has their, on the back here, they have their own parking pad and they have their own garages. So there's, it's never like a place that's gonna feel that crowded. And you're close to everything. About two miles from the, uh, from the highway, one mile away from shopping and from restaurants. So anyway, we still have one more price point. If this wasn't big enough for you, and you want a little bit more, we're gonna go over a million dollars for the next house. Let's go check it out and see what you get for over a million dollars here in Clarksburg. So we're going to be coming up on our third and final price point, which is priced just over $1 million. Now the reason we're coming to this price point is that we want a single family house that has over 5,000 square feet, 5 bedrooms, 5 baths, that is, at, that is representing kind of like the absolute top end of what you can get in Clarksburg. And here we are showing up. So this brick facade house was built in 2005. It has a two car garage, fairly open concept on the inside. It's three levels and it's got over 5,000 square feet of living space. So this is gonna be a house that's gonna be nearly impossible to grow out of. It's also a house that unlike some of the uh, properties we saw before, is gonna have a decent backyard. It's not gonna be, well, despite that car fly past us, it's not gonna be on a busy street and it's a house that's really I, I think it checks a lot of boxes for me if you could swing a million dollars for a property it's not a house you're ever going to lose value on and it's not a house you're going to regret raising your family or living in for 30 or 40 years So is Clarksburg worth moving to, even though the prices have come up here so much in the last couple years? I, I still think it makes a lot of sense. Before when you were buying in Clarksburg, let's just say in 2015, that was kind of like you were buying the IPO stage because back then no one really knew what Clarksburg was going to become. And there was a lot of risk associated with it. It was farmlands, there was cows everywhere. And then suddenly we're hearing about these big outlets being built and we're hearing about this new construction and people are saying to themselves, wait, this is farm country. Who is gonna wanna buy a million dollar house in Clarksburg? Well, it's funny how things change like that. Clarksburg really grew rapidly um, and they think they did it the right way. They, they, they grew smart. They didn't just sprawl out. Everything was planned well. So there's a good balance of restaurants, shopping, and they did an amazing job with their school system here. What are the negatives? Well, there's no way to get around it. You are still uh, about 18 to 19 miles away from Washington, D.C. So we're starting to get a little bit further away from D.C. than most people would like. There's not a metro stop right here, but you can still, uh, you can still drive there in about 10 to 12 minutes when it's not rush hour. Outside of that, I mean, if you're looking for a plethora of modern builds, where every community, whether you're going to a townhouse, a mid-sized single family, or a large single family looks like this, Clarksburg's probably a good place for you to consider. So, if you're considering moving to the DC metro area and Clarksburg's checking a lot of boxes based on this video, give us a call, send us a text, or shoot us an email. 
and let us know what we can do to help you. We'd love to show you around. And until the next video, this is Brad from Living in Washington, D.C. We'll see you soon.